Welcome back to Mashits. We want to introduce a couple of gadgets that's going to be useful for MacBook Pro or MacBook Air users. For example, if you own any 2013 or old MacBooks, you may remember that MagSafe connector. Unfortunately, Apple is not bringing that feature in the new models, but still, you can have some third-party products that can bring the same MagSafe experience. Similarly, you have only few ports on your MacBook Pro or Air, but if you want to read a memory card or if you want to extend the capability of your MacBook, you can have some third-party docking stations. Today, let us see some MacBook accessories that we believe the best guard guess for our requirement. Hopefully, this is going to help you to decide whatever the guard gets you need for your purpose, whether you own a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. Apple stopped this MagSafe charger around six years before. So if you want to get it back, there are some third-party MagSafe connectors on market. And we tested a couple of them here that's gonna compatible with our latest MacBook Pros and MacBook Air. There are two different types. The one comes with a very limited connector that's just for powering up your MacBook. And you can use with a compatible female connector and use on your Mac. The second one comes with more pins that supports both the charging and the data transfer. We have tested both of them with our MacBook Pro. And what we found that if you ever experience the old MacBook in 2013 or old, you cannot get the same magnetic power with this USB-C MagSafe ports. But it's okay, if you are just looking for a charger, you can try this. And for the data transfer, we used to use this connector with our MacBook. So it's a matter of just insert on the port and you can connect multiple devices here either your external SSD to back up your data or you can connect your MacBook to charge the battery. There is a tiny power indicator here to show the status while charging the MacBook. We found this very useful MagSafe that offers at least a good amount of magnetic power and it's snatched easily. And this particular one supports up to 100 watts charging and video output quality of 4K at 30 Hz. You can use this one to connect your external monitor or charging your MacBook, or even you can use to back up your MacBook with a time machine. And if you want to take this out, it is not easy. It's uh, pretty close to here. So I would recommend use a piece of thread and make some gap here, then you can easily pop it out. There is one more uh, product we want to introduce here. Here is the webcam cover for your Mac. I just want to give you a warning. Apple warned about using this webcam sticker on their MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. It's up to you to use this camera cover. And Mac is suggesting that instead of that, you can check the LED status, whether your camera is turned on or off. Usually I'm not taking with my backpack. So I always use on my table. I'm using this webcam cover for my Mac. Apple is recommending even if you want Want to use webcam cover make sure that the thickness is less than 0.1 mm so it's kind of a less than the thickness of a paper and what i like here if i want to block my camera i can simply block here or if i want to do any meeting then i will just simply uh, slide the cover usually i will keep it close so this is for macbook and if you have any different devices you can still use this webcam cover and it's kind of a pretty handy and it will be always there and if you still want to use a webcam cover without hurting your mac you can simply use a sticky pad over here so that's a very traditional solution for blocking your webcam cam I'm also using an anti-glare screen protector for my MacBook. It's pretty hard to see because it's perfectly goes into the screen, stating that it can filter out the blue rays from the screen. I'm not sure about that blue ray filter part. I don't have any device to check the efficiency of this blue ray filtering capability of this glass, but still it's gonna protect your MacBook screen from scratches. If you are using this MacBook on your table all the time, then these two accessories are not going to hurt you anymore. So there are dedicated memory card readers that comes with the USB-C port, especially for your MacBook. This particular one that can use with a micro SD card, 
and you can have an SD card too. And this both can go to your MacBook. And there are a couple of other things that we want to mention here. So the one side of this reader is comes with USB-C port and the other side is a regular USB. And also if you press it, you can convert this port into a micro USB port that directly goes to your Android phone. So it's a pretty compatible and small device that you can carry around and there is a protector that you can keep your ports out from dust and everything. If you want to extend the capability of your MacBook with some additional ports, there are a couple of USB-C adapter that comes with multiple ports. So this one particularly have micro SD card slot, SD card slot, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB 3 ports, and one HDMI that supports 4K video output. So this adapter you can simply insert on your Mac and you can have a couple of additional ports that you can connect on this USB adapter. So what we found on this USB-C adapter, it supports 4K HDMI video output, 40 GB data transfer. You can charge the device up to 100 watts and they have micro SD and SD card port. This would be enough for an average Mac user to carry around all your basic needs. As you know, this comes with a MacBook Pro. It's of 20.3 volt at a 3 amps capacity. This one comes with a one USB-C port and connecting for your power cable over here. There are some additional third-party power bits that comes with a the same power or more than that. And there is one here that we are using for a while from basis and it's a 100 watts power bricks. This one offers two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. It's pretty good and more than enough to connect all my gadgets like I can connect my MacBook and if I'm using my iPad, I can use the additional port for charging my iPad. And if I have any phone charger or wireless charger I can use for these additional ports for that. And this one is offered 100 watt. One more thing I like that this power connector. So it's kind of a pop up and once you're done, you can keep it inside. And they have additional one from RAW power. That's also offering two USB-C ports and the same pop up power plug. And that's pretty much, and you can have all these choices to power up your MacBook. And we will give all the links below this video if you want to buy any one of these. If you on a Mac, we occasionally do a backup and I don't want to compromise on the disk that I'm using for my backup. So I usually recommend the Samsung or we have tested the SanDisk. Both are fine and this comes with a different size. We use here one TV and this one is a Samsung T5, SSD T5. It's a little bit older model but you can have the latest T7 that offer up to 1050 MB per second write speed so it's pretty fast compared to this T5 that's offer only 540 MB per second and this is an alternative choice SanDisk it's very easy to carry around and if you are working from home this would be your choice and if you want to carry around with you as an additional backup disk SanDisk would be pretty cute and nice for the purpose meanwhile if if you like this channel click on the subscribe button below and press the bell icon for latest updates this is one of the nice product that i carry around with my backpack when you look at it it's a basically a power supply so the power bill can offer 45 watt and it comes with two USB-C ports. And similarly, there is a pop-up plug for your wall socket. But what I like here, this comes with an internal rechargeable battery. So when you connect this one into your wall socket, it's gonna charge your battery. And at the same time, it can supply the power to your MacBook. It cannot fully charge your MacBook Pro, but just in case of emergency, it can deliver some power to back up your MacBook. And also you can connect your iPhone or iPad to these additional USB-C port to charge the battery. You can see the battery level here. I'm almost 25 percentages over. So this one is a power adapter and power bank combined together. 
We have tested one more device to replace this Apple product and that's Logitech Master 3. What we see here, you can wirelessly connect this mouse to three different devices. Also, you can transfer files between these devices that's already connected to this Logitech mouse. That's not the one I'm attracted to here. In addition to this scroll wheel, there are a couple of additional buttons and controls that you can utilize and customize for Mac OS. There are one, two, three, four customizable buttons that you can customize for different applications. If you are using FCP or Microsoft Excel, again, you can customize these buttons for those particular apps. For example, I customize this thumb wheel for horizontal scrolling and these two buttons for undo and redo for my Excel applications. So when you talk about this Logitech MS Master 3, it can connect with your Mac with 2.4 gigahertz wireless, 400 dpi sensor and it's a rechargeable with a USB-C port. The full charge lasts up to 70 days. One minute battery charge can give you three hours of usage and there are a lot of customizable buttons. And if you want to use an external speaker for your MacBook Pro, you can have a HomePod Mini. Unfortunately, it is not supporting the stereo pairing at this moment. And instead of this, if you are looking for a headphone, you can have the headphone from Beats. It comes with the Apple W1 chip. It's very easy to pair with your MacBook or iPhone. This one comes with a micro USB charger and additional buttons to control the audio here. This is an additional table lamp that comes handy with your MacBook War setup. You can adjust the color temperature from 2700K to 6000K by using these touch controls. This one comes with a wireless charger that you can place your phone on top of it to easily charge your phone. And there is an additional USB port here to charge your other devices. So this is a perfect all-in-one device for your tabletop while working with your MacBook. If you think any gadgets that we missed to add into this list, please, comment below. If you are working from home, we have listed the best gadgets and accessories for your work from home setup. Please check the video here for the best gadgets that's going to help for your work from home setup. This is the end of our gadget recommendation for this video. Thank you for watching this video and if you like our video, please click on the subscribe button.